Well, I want to thank Mars. And this is a strange mystery. I've known about this for years. They're called night crawlers. And we're not talking about the type of night crawlers that are worms. They eat fish with. Fresno, California might always be the most exciting place in the, in the world. They have one claim to fame that's out of this world. The Fresno night crawler sightings began in the 1990s and have only occurred a few times since then. These strange beings are cryptids that look like pants, but have, are only a few feet high just wandering through the street. There are only a few eyewitnesses in Fresno. They do pop up in the surveillance cameras, struggling whoever has misfortune to check the tape the next day. So, let's see if I can get this to operate in the uh, video. The things are just utterly bizarre looking. Now you can see it, it looks basically like a head with legs. But sometime in the 1990s, 2000s, depending on who you ask, the night crawlers first began to emerge. One night a family and a friend in California decided to set up a security camera for their garage because they often heard dogs barking at night. Perhaps it was a burglar, perhaps it was a strange animal, what they saw next day was enough to shock them into calling the police. The footage showed a pair of strange, small creatures only two feet in height. They walked almost surreally across the screen, the screen and the family figured that the sea sinks had caused their dogs to bark so much. Neither one Neither the family nor the police could figure out what these creatures were. Soon, the media got a hold of the footage and President night Nightcrawlers were all the rage. The family decided they wanted to remain anonymous as to avoid, so as to avoid supernatural spotlight. So, of course, the explanations are out. Uh, one is aliens, of course. I don't know. Well, this one, uh... I have mixed feelings on that. They might be things seen by the American Indians. These are real sculptures, by the way. One of the more interesting answers to Nightcrawler questions actually has to do with local Native American legend. During the tribe members that live near Fresno, Nightcrawlers are being saved pretty much always lived on Earth, even before the human beings got there. According to these myths, the night crawlers have long legs, allow them to move through difficult or boggy landscapes, because they are swamp world beings. The beings are part of their world now in order to rebuild the connection between the human race and our natural surroundings as a sort of peace bringer. Well, they don't seem to have made any noticeable efforts in doing this so far, the fact that stories about them have existed for generations indicates it might not be anything new to Fresno. Fresno. It might spread to Yosemite. Again, look at the set here, if it'll run. I've seen these before. I've known about these for 20 years. It's a rare phenomenon. There, there we go again. This is surveillance camera footage. I don't think it's fake. Let's see if we can blow this up. Is that freaky or is that freaky? Now maybe his kids messing around some way wearing stilts. I don't know. It seems to be humanoid. Uh, agree reluctantly on that. One thing people seem to agree on, regardless of what people say they are, is 
what the creatures look like, and their bodies are young up to four feet in height, no taller than one might have less than, might have been less than two feet tall, they don't seem to have any arms, and their heads are very small compared to the rest of their bodies. They're pale in color, perhaps white, and they may have two small eyes while people was found the footage, some footage analysis. After the, all, they are very penal, which indicates that they are, for all their strangeness, they are humanoid. Okay, whatever. No one in Fresno ever had an encounter in person. Since then, night crawlers have been strangely quiet, there have been no more spooky security tapes, and there were no more actual encounters. You know, these things were pretty weird, seemed to be totally harmless. Nothing was ever damaged by them, they don't seem to have hurt anybody. In fact, they don't seem to be interested at all in making human contact. No one had any run-ins with them in the history of Fresno, no one has reported having any close encounters with night crawlers. Maybe a glimpse of one here or there, but nothing too physical. So I'm still wearing weapon questions as to exactly where they are, what they are, and where they come from. Prisoner of all places. Uh, they appear to be wearing clothes. What makes me suspicious of many of these are kids. long pranks, but videos have been examined for a while play. Of course, the biggest prevailing theory is that they're just some kind of hoax. Creatures do look rather silly and awkward, but, and like they may be some sort of puppet rather than actually alive. But it's never been proven either way. Videos are weird enough to get the attention of one TV show called Fact or Fake, and they sent out to examine the video. First, they examined the creatures themselves and soon figured out that they were indeed only a few feet tall, as had been previously reported. Then they went out looking for the creatures, but they were unable to find them. Then, they tried to recreate the video with many different known hoax techniques. All their attempts to recreate the footage was met with failure. In the end, they decided that the footage would be very difficult to take if not impossible and the video footage was authentic. They're still left unsure of what we're seeing in security videos. There's another one, another one of them. I want another one of the statues. These are done by Indians. May have popped up in other states too. Final piece is yet to be solved puzzle. Nightcrawlers seem to be decided even before or around the same time that they popped up in Fresno over the center in Manchester, Indiana. 2000 report, four report says the 17 year old motorist was driving at night when he saw a strange thing on the side of the road. It was thin with long legs and looked humanoid without being truly human, it moved oddly as if disjointed and was described similarly to the creatures in Fresno with one major difference. That this one was over six feet tall. Second car passed the figure containing two elderly passengers who also saw the being. They conferred with other motorists and all agreed that what they seen was not human. They drove together out of the area, obviously rattled by the experience. Whether or not this was the same creature seen in Fresno is uncertain, but if it is, we may be dealing with these critters in more areas than just California. I don't know, this, this one is freaky. I want to think it's kids pulling a prank, but uh, I kind of doubt it actually. It's probably some life form that we've just never 
categorize because we've never encountered it. Be able to categorize it. Doesn't appear to be dangerous. Like I said, just weird. I am artifacts of Mars. Uh, thanks for watching.